We are here today to give you some tips on how to shoot handheld videos. Hopefully it's gonna be helpful. We have the perfect light, perfect conditions. Well, kind of, it's very cold, but he is surfing. <laughs> I am taking videos, so we can't wait to see you after the new intro. Kneeling down in front of the majesty of the ocean, I'm just waxing my board like a humble idiot. It's windy, rainy, and damn cold, and my mother would kick my ass if she saw me here right now. I can surf, but I pretend I do. My voiceover is not even great, and you can feel my pizza eater accent. But I don't care. I have a wetsuit hood on, and I look cool. Actually, that's not even me. That's my friend Joe, and he's very good in crashing drones. Whenever you are in the need of getting rid of yours, give him a shout. He does that for free. I'm just making these videos so you can waste 15 minutes of your life and subscribe to my channel and then unsubscribe again because that's what you can do best you filthy mother all right all right talk no more that's a wrap what we're gonna do now together guys is to go behind the scenes of that very video we're gonna break it down into different clips and i'm gonna share with you the camera movements and the settings i used to achieve specific shots first shot here guys so this is a prep shot of Joe putting up the hood of the wetsuit and I'll just show you what I do so I've got a handle the side handle on the camera what I do here is to keep the elbow close to my body and just try to be as steady as I can it's just a close-up shot as Joe put the hood on so very simple we're gonna focus first okay Joe action and as Joe goes I move slightly to the right to give some movement to the shot very simple and I rock the other way as well bada bing yeah uh, if you can walk towards that way so if you start here dude yeah and you walk yeah that that direction and I'm just steady with the camera holding the camera yeah that's what I do no movement just hold the camera there and hold your breath lovely okay thank you okay we do a three quarter from the back here again kind of still shot very easy but it's a beautiful look at the shadows and the colors the contrast yeah hold it there for a few seconds you guys can do a tiny movement with your body from left to right okay take one more here a slightly different angle Which way do you want to surf? Tell me, Joe, which one? Nice. Okay, the next shot is uh, Joe looking at the sea. What I'm trying to do is a dolly shot, a forward dolly shot, keeping the focus on Joe's eyes. So that's the tip I was giving you. You can pull the focus with the ring as you're moving forward, okay? So I'm starting from this position pressing rack going forward and moving the wheel and you do the same movement going backward just in case and you get your shot there bang oh. now we're gonna do a walk shot a walking shot so Joe what you to, what you do is to walk from there to there oh, okay. this way across. Yeah. yeah so if you start here I do the same thing, yeah, quite slow so I can keep uh, steady myself. I actually kind of follow you because the sun is too strong. Okay, so Joe starts walking and we guys do the same movement. 
gently. So use the ninja walk. Try to absorb the steps. Done. Thank you. And of course, slow motion is gonna help here. We're gonna try to reproduce the parallax effect we told you before. So I move towards one direction and Joe is gonna move towards the, the opposite direction just to keep the camera a bit steadier and still have this uh, dynamism in, in your shot. Okay, so. Parallax. Parallax okay. effect, All baby. Right, right, this so, <laughs> wow, the light is amazing. Okay, okay so okay. from here, Joe, you look at the sea. And I move this way. Okay, so, so yeah, like exactly. I'm gonna place myself here so I can see the sea at the back. Joe ready, I keep Joe in the center. I move to the right and Joe move the other direction. There you go, simple movement, movement, very steady. We do one more. So as mentioned, guys, do the same movement two or three times. And go, Joe. Also look at my body, I'm moving everything. So not just the hands, we do one more and action. And then I let go and try to fall and stop the body as it's falling down to get some extra frames there. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Joe. Always say thanks to your uh, actors. <laughs> now, what we're trying to do is a detail of closing the zipper right there. So that's, well, of course, it's handheld. It's a, it's a, it's a vlog about handheld shooting. But I try to, to keep focus on the zip and just do a tiny trucking shot backwards. Okay, again, I move the whole body. So focus on the zipper, there it is. Then you give the action and jaw go. Done, now we have a problem with the light. And go. Okay, again. And go. Does it work? Yeah. Is that a shadow? I don't understand. No, it's not shadow. No. I'm not sure about the light. Okay, and one, two... I don't like the shadows though. Well, let's go. One, two, three, go. It's too harsh, man. Too harsh. Okay, let's do one here. Sorry, dude. No, it's fine. One, two, and action. Ah, I got it. Boom. Boom. Give me cash money. <laughs> <laughs> We're now using a 7200 lens because Joe is surfing. So that's the only way for me to reach him at that distance. And I'm going to show you a clip without any stabilization, any technique. Okay, so this is what I can get with my hands right now. Still, it's not pretty bad. There's no stabilization either in the camera or the lens. But one thing that can help you is to find uh, a solid spot where you can lean to, okay? So, for example, this rock can be very useful. And I just lay against the rock and take a long shot of Joe, because I can't really see him right now. <laughs> it's too far away. So that's why I need a 70 to 200 lens. But in this way, check this out. I'm at 200 millimeters now, the longest uh, focal length. And in this case, I prefer to hold the lens, otherwise it's unbalanced. I hold the breath as well, as long as I can. And there you go, you got a nice beautiful shot that you can definitely use in your videos, even professionally. So, handheld is the way. Let's try a different tip. Now, Joe is still there. Still, I probably need a longer lens than a 200. I probably would need a four, 400 lens, I guess. But I am a 200 right now. So what I can do with my body, I sit down and I, and I hold the camera and the lens with my legs. I mean, legs are pretty solid. They're just stuck to the ground. They're not moving. So that's a perfect way for me to use them as a tripod. You can also tie them up uh, together 
you pull the focus and that's joe actually this is pretty solid again try to breathe slowly or to hold your breath the camera is not moving check this out come on joe yay always you can check the horizon level on your monitor that helps you to keep the uh, shot and your subject in place okay that's one way and now we try the sniper way so sniper way well sniper way <laughs> very simple you just lay down you can get a bit dirty but who cares you do these are much more for video making that's what you do all your body on the ground nothing is moving and you can also set the camera on a rock in this way and uh, this is literally not moving so i can also pull the focus that could be on a tripod on a gimbal anywhere it's not moving at all now you need to clean yourself and then <laughs> if you want to do some movement with a 70 to 200 lens well just take slow movements or again lay against something solid and just try to put something in the foreground to create that parallax effect and again gentle movements giving you all the tips i kind of know about handheld shooting don't forget the importance of keeping your handheld clips rough sometimes because handheld shooting is very immersive for your audience whenever you want your viewer to be part of your video to be part of the action of the battle that's the style the filming style you want to adopt and if you look at the greatest films that's actually what you will notice whenever there's a war whenever there are stunt guys jumping around and exploding somewhere the filming is mostly handheld shooting this is also the filming style i use the most myself i'm usually on shoot which are called run and gun shoots where you kind of improvise everything and this is the easiest way for me to be ready with my camera be in full control of the settings and the gear I'm using. And that's why I was mentioning about the practice and experience. That's what I learned through my experience through years of handheld shooting. And now I know more or less how to achieve a decent shot without any extra gimbal, slider, and whatsoever, any camera equipment. It's worth mentioning the post-production as well. Never forget the importance of video editing because during the editing process, you can apply an effect to your clips which is called warp stabilization that's called like that in uh, uh, adobe premiere pro at least which is gonna make your clip steadier so if you have a bit of shakiness in post-production you can fix that even more and here a bit of promotion about my adobe premiere pro course i created a video editing a complete video editing course that you can find on my website and mamoed.com also on the udemy platform one of the best sellers in terms of video editing on my website it will be cheaper so i advise you to go and check it out there you also have a few sections for free if you join it now so go and check it and then you can enroll if you're if you're enjoying it if you like it if you're learning you can just apply for the whole course link in the description or card up here right here we are point break Yo! So we wrap up the episode, well, the vlog. We hope the video is going to be helpful. We reach 5K on this channel. Thank you once again. 5K, that's no joke. We're going to reach 50 by the end of 2022. And when we reach 50, this guy's going to go surfing in Scotland. <laughs> in winter time. Sure. Well, get me to 50K. We're going to do something special for sure there. Yeah, there we go. Let's go 50. Joe and me are going to say bye, Will. We'll see you in the next vlog, still from Scotland. So stay tuned on this channel. Good go check Joe on Instagram too. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. <laughs> I do not like this one bit. Are you ready, Joe? I'm as ready as you can be to put on a wet wetsuit after a terrible night's sleep. <laughs>